So this chapter yet again of Fairy Tale is starting to look like Hero really wants to reset Fairy Tale to a certain extent while keeping some of the major elements that we'll build back up to later on. He's kind of going back to how Fairy Tale first started with like a lot of smaller things and reintroductions and whatnot. And it's understandable to a certain degree. You do need a cool down after the immense craziness that we had at the end of the last arc. So, you know, we, we're building things back up slowly, but this chapter, definitely, it was just kind of like showcasing a little bit more of how much Natsu has grown, and I think one of the best things that this chapter had amongst everything, you know, reintroducing Wendy and all that other stuff. No, no, no. The most thing that really got me excited was what I was complaining about a couple chapters ago. Actually, no. Lucy has secretly been training, which was one of the best things that this chapter said. Like, when she said she's been secretly training, like, you probably will still kick my ass, but I've gotten better. I was like, yes! So it's not just some bullshit that, you know, she's going to be exactly the same. I can't wait to see what she has. Hopefully she mastered Uranometria, where she doesn't need Gemini anymore. That would be one big plus. But overall, just to know that she's not the same Lucy, and she advanced as well secretly... Good fucking shit. She wasn't just selling her underwear model catalogs. And you could definitely see that Natsu has advanced a lot. I mean, he can hear from afar, similar to like Cobra, all the way, like, you know, they were a distance away. Like, if you look at the panel, where you actually see the people that are trying to rob them or whatever, the tower that they're by is very, very far. Maybe, I don't know, I want to say a mile, maybe mile or two or something like that so they're very very far away as far as that tower goes and he can pinpoint hear it and pinpoint fire shots to stop them so he has advanced i'm glad that we're seeing clear indications of his growth and what his training has bear didn't really care to see lamia scale i mean it looks like they didn't really change too much to be honest with you it's like hey leon can you know do this or that gray can do it and do it better so who really cares i guess the big thing about that was seeing that wendy joined the new guild which is very interesting i never thought that the fairy tale members would have actually join new guilds now i'm curious did they get to keep their tattoos of fairy tale or were they forced to remove it and get a new one or did they have to add the other one or is it just a cheap cop out like oh you don't gotta add our, our symbol you can just at least join us and work with us something like that i think it would have been a little bit more impactful and again i don't know but it would be more impactful if ultimately they had to get the stamp of the new guild and i don't know maybe not remove the fairy tale symbol maybe remove it i don't know then eventually they could all get it back at some given point but definitely it should be a little bit more cemented like yeah they really are a part of this guild there's not no bullshit and i'm willing to bet that there's somebody probably that joined saber too because at the end of the day how elfman was feeling at the end of the arc i wouldn't be surprised if he's like no i really ain't going back to fairy tale i joined somebody else and i'm really ride or dying for this guild maybe there's some shitty guild out there that he went with and ultimately he's going to be doing some fucked up things because i could see elfman going down an even darker path and then we had that little ending which that was probably Probably Carla that has now that adult form, that adult kitty cat form or whatever, similar to what Panther Lily can do, how he can turn into that big hulking form. I'm wondering if Happy will have that as well, and at the same time, I mean, Carla has it okay, I'm, I, I mean... What is she really going to do? She's never really done much to begin with except have those visions, which she hasn't had in a while. So, I mean, I guess cool, whatever. I don't know if they he's doing that for some weird fucking cat fetish fan service or some shit like that. But if Carla has one, give one a happy as well. Fuck it, right? So yeah, fine chapter for the most part. We got reintroduced to Wendy. She's with Lamia Scale, which is just fucking... I don't know, I, I didn't see the fairy tale members joining other guilds, just want to know if it's cemented properly with the tattoo. Also, Natsu has grown, and most importantly, Lucy was training, so I can't fucking wait to see what she can do. So yeah, fine chapter, 6 to a six and a half for the most part. Got a little bit of growth and everything, but just, again, wasn't the most interesting. I mean, we have these villains that were introduced at the end, but they look like one-shot villains. Like, Natsu can probably fire up their ass, but they're going to have some sort of cheap way to lock down Natsu, and then Lucy's going to have to do everything, which would be a good demonstration of what Lucy can do. But let me know what you guys thought of this chapter. How did you feel, first of all, about Lucy actually secretly training? How strong do you think Natsu is at this particular point? And what do you think about Wendy joining this new guild? Do you think that she's gonna be, like, with, marked with the tattoo, or is it gonna be just cheap? And, I guess, the cat transformation, or the humanoid transformation that Carla had. Did you give a rat's ass about it? And your overall thoughts, but that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you could do so as well. That'd be amazing. I'm from the world and as always people, have an awesome day.